Hey everybody, Eric here from Lafix. Now, made lots of videos about this model before. To make a quick one, a little bit interesting update today about this one. This is the A1708, uh, touch, non-touch bar version. Um, it's a nice 2017 MacBook Pro. Now, I made lots of videos. If you ever kept up with the channel, you ever see anything we ever do, this one's a really interesting model because it does have a problem with the SSD. So sometimes when you try to turn it on, you might just get like a black screen or you might get uh, the question mark folder icon. You might get something like that. Um, now, what that means is it can mean a lot of different things, but in a lot of cases, this one actually did um, have a service program we've actually talked a lot about before because this is the SSD that's inside that actually does fail. And you can see it here. It's really nice. It's very unique shape. Uh, it's unique size. It is uh, one of the only models actually that does have a removable uh, modular drive. Um, now these ones that are affected usually are about the 128 and 256 gig. So, all right, I guess this one's bad again. So I guess what would, what do we have to do today? Well, I guess let's go to the Apple service program. Let's actually go ahead and see what's going on there. So we found this, this is actually very interesting. We go here, right? And it says 13 inch MacBook Pro non touch bar model solid state drive. This is a service program. You can actually take, take a look. It's at the at support.apple.com. It's for a 13 inch one. Again, non touch bar, non touch bar, touch bar one, does have an integrated SD. So we click that and we actually say, oh, oh, oh no. The Apple service program status. So it looks like the Apple service program you're looking for has ended. Wow. Hmm. Oh no. So hmm. what's going to be going on? Uh, if you haven't checked out our other videos talking about this, I have a bunch of other videos talking about this. I show the actual website that was actually up there and how you can go ahead and check it out with if you have a certain a serial number. Um, it's a very specific ones that are affected. Even some models that do are, are that do have the 128 and 256 one aren't actually. Um, not all of them are going to be affected, obviously, because they have a certain range. So there's certain years, certain months. Go ahead, check out those videos. I'll also link them probably towards the end of the video if you want to go ahead and check it out. But now this service program has actually ended. So really, the best case uh, scenario you can really do for something like this is to do an upgrade yourself. And the best way to really do an upgrade yourself or you want to do it obviously we do the type of service here and what we always like to recommend is uh, I'll probably this will probably be more the last type of video about this type of model because obviously now the service program has ended uh, obviously we've done lots of repairs you can go ahead and check those out but if you're going to be upgrading this one or if you need to redo this one you definitely want to get um uh, the 512 gigabyte model because that one is the one that isn't affected at least within the service and uh, the warranty the well the previous warranty for repair on this one so if you're interested in that definitely try to go more with the 512 model i do show a video also talking about um using a non apple drive uh, go ahead check that out if you want to go ahead and see why i kind of explain why you shouldn't be using a non apple drive even though this one still has a problem and it's under warranty um or if you don't want to get the 512 gig size we always recommend going at least to get that obviously get that one because it's outside of the range there um if you have data we also have another video talking about that on how to get the data off but pretty much just to let you guys know that this service program has actually ended for there and be very careful about um, something like this, I would make sure you want to back up your data always if you can at the moment. Uh, it even does, it's funny because even in the videos before that, it actually says in the page, it says to back up the data before you have a problem, but it's funny because you have a problem. So how do you back up the data? It's really funny kind of how it works, but check out those other videos too. But again, this is just kind of a last PSA one. I mean, it's been out for what? five six years now almost so kind of makes sense they probably cover it for about within the five year range which still gives people a lot of time but it would be unfortunate if some people who do have this issue for the 2017 a720 a1708 non-touch bar model like this that have this problem or have an ssd with a question mark or folder icon any of those things there and they're not access they're not able to access their their drive or access their data and they're wondering what's going on this is usually the case for it but it uh, looks like the window has closed people. So um, obviously we do the repairs. If you're interested, we have our contact information located in the description. And um, if you're interested in data too, we could we could really see these drives are a lot more difficult. They're a lot more unique to get data. Um, again, we have other videos talking about that, but this will be the last PSA one, I guess, for this uh, type of model. But hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please leave a like. Uh, definitely check out the other videos if you do have a similar problem. Um, if you do have these models, the A1708 2017, definitely make sure you make a backup of it in case and um because obviously the the warranty it really isn't there anymore so i hope you guys are watching see you guys next video bye